happy January 2nd everyone. Today I got Happy Mail from Linda Just a Crochet Sister. I haven't opened it yet. Let me get it. See? Nice big box. So. Now some of you may know if you follow Linda's channel, I sent her a, an afghan. Uh, I think she got it on Saturday. And so, anyway, so she just sent me a, I'm sure this is just a little thank you. But knowing Linda, it's not going to be a little thank you. And indeed. Okay, hang on just a second. She says, Dear Jenny, I want to thank you so much for the blanket. It is so pretty and so much work. Here's a little... Here's a little something to say thanks. Ooh. Okay. Let me put it down here. Here's a little package of mini Christmas ornaments. Because you know I'm all about the Christmas. Or things to make, I could make, turn them into stitch markers as well. And then, let's see, oh my goodness. Oh. She sent this gigantic thing of Stylecraft yarn. And all kinds of colors in here. Oh my goodness. Linda, you really didn't have to send anything, but thank you. Can never have enough yarn. That's for sure. I posted something on uh, Rose Likes Crochet's um, Facebook group, and it said something like, uh, I want to congratulate myself because I haven't gone yarn shopping all year. Of course, I posted that on the first of the year. So... Anyways, there's there's just all kinds of colors in here. Let me let's see if I can open it up. Let's see, this is well, it says chunky, but it looks kind of like a just a, a number four, a nice good thick four. Um, Okay, I, I guess I'm not seeing it. Well, anyways, this shade is cream. And this one is bluebell. It's kind of a um, purpley blue. And this one here is khaki. And this color is Meadow. Ooh, this would be really nice. And this one is, oh, that's Meadow too. And we have some uh, Lemon. And uh, let's see, In this color is magenta. I don't know if you can see it really well. Is that all the colors? Well, that's all the different colors. Linda, thank you so much. And they come in this nice little bag, too. Woohoo! I think I can... I wouldn't have any problem mixing this with Red Heart Super Saver because it um, seems like it's about the same thickness. Certainly the same thickness as uh, a Karen One Pounder. So that's good. That's good. I know exactly how I'm going to use some of it. have to make some plans to use the rest of it. Okay, but that's not all. That is not all. There's something else in here. There's... Oh my gosh, Linda. 
getting the U.S. Mint. Because you all know I'm starting to collect quarters. Um, right now I'm just working on the state quarters. Um, I'm doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. But I am collecting some silver coins, which at some point I'll show you. Maybe I'll show you later in this video. Um, but she sent me a couple of things from the mint. And this is an American Eagle one ounce proof. Oh my gosh, I don't have any proofs. Silver bullion cube or coin. I do have a couple of American Eagles, but I don't have any proofs, that's for sure. Holy moly! Woohoo! Look at this. You see that mirror, mirror finish? That is a proof. When you see that on American coins, I don't know that that's so true on other countries. Linda, oh my gosh, and this is a 1986. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. So that's an American Eagle. Um, and then something, a 1993 prestige set of commemorative coins. Let's see what this is. Wow, and these are all proofs too. Look at this. You see that mirror? Another way you know it's a proof is because it will have, at least I think from like 1982 on, the San Francisco Mint stopped uh, minting regular coins and they only do proofs. So you're going to see an S mint mark for San Francisco. Um, wow. I don't have any of these coins. This is really cool. Linda, thank you so much. Wow. Now my coin collecting is like jumped to a new level. Wow. You just jumped me. Wow. Okay. I'm a little overwhelmed with, with that. I just got uh, back from the bank and um, I, I got 11 rolls of quarters that I have to go through and these are all customer wrapped and um, that's okay because I'm still missing so many just general things from my uh, books that I show you. I have these, these books. Uh, I've got one, this is the 2010 to 2021. Why oh, keep going out of focus? Okay. And this one is the earlier set. And if you were going to get them, I'm going to put links to a seller below if you were going to get these two because these are for the Denver and the Philadelphia Mint. Don't just get one that's like uh, nondescript. Like, uh, uh, See, I, make a few, I made a lot of mistakes when I was first starting. And this is a statehood quarters folder, but it's not specific. So, um, yeah, don't buy those. Buy the ones that are specific. I'll put the links below to a seller. Um, so, anyhow, I have these to go through. I went through some of my landlady's quarters last night. I found a Guam. So, my first Guam quarter and I was very happy about that. Uh, anyhow, okay, back to crochet. Oh, here comes my little girl. Hi. 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 Okay. Tell us you're in the way. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Okay. Okay, what do you want? Okay. 
that's April. Uh, anyhow, I finished that Jada panel that I was working on last week, and I'm um, just halfway through another one. And uh, we'll finish the panel part um, sometime over the weekend. Then I get to start making all the little appliques. So that'll be five more jaded blankets for sure, because I already have four panels made. Um, this will be the fifth, and then a girlfriend of mine sat and saw them and just thought they were wonderful. And now I'm thinking, well, should I make her one? Um, her birthday's not till November, but just like me, she went. She well, she just went through a complete. Uh, I don't know if hers was radical, but uh, a complete hysterectomy. And uh, I'm thinking I should make her one, but I don't know if I want to make another Jada one because I have, even though I'll finish these five, um, but not all at the same time, um, I will have made actually probably... 13 or 14 of them, and I'm kind of done with them. Um, but who knows? I don't know. They're kind of fun to make. I like making the back panel the best, and then I'll just start making the appliques. Yes, you're very noisy. Yes, yes, you are. Right now, that's, that's bossy. Bossy is chirping. I don't know why she's chirping. Anyhow, um, oh, I know, uh, when I was working on Linda's blanket, I filmed a little bit about the working of it, because it is a waffle stitch, and if you've never done the waffle stitch before, um, you have to plan it differently, as far as how much yarn you're going to use. Now, I don't know how much yarn I used, I didn't care, I got so much yarn, I don't really care. But, it's not, it's not the same as, say, doing a Jada panel where, um, with a 5.5 millimeter hook. Okay, stop. I don't know why they're so excited today. Anyways, with a 5.5 millimeter hook, um, with a Jada blanket, it's, uh, what was it, it's 36 stitches? Uh, double crochet is a foot, but when you're doing a waffle stitch with the same hook, sorry, uh, it's 45 stitches because it condenses and it squishes down. So uh, you do use more yarn doing a waffle stitch. So I'm going to put that little video right here. Hey everyone, it is December 22nd and this video will probably not get uploaded until January sometime. And the reason is because I am working on a gift for someone and I won't post this video until after she has gotten it and probably talked about it publicly. Um, the gift is for Linda, just a crochet sister. And she had mentioned casually in one of her videos, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, that she would love to have a an afghan that is made with waffle stitch. And so, even though I said I would never make another waffle stitch blank because they're kind of a, a very time consuming for Linda, I will make a waffle stitch blanket. So, I will show you. It's not quite done at this point. Um, but she said her favorite colors are spring. So, I have a lot of spring colors in here. Kind of looks like a big old Easter egg colors. And I can tell you that. Uh, you know, when I did the Jada blankets, 
those were uh, 110 uh, double crochets per well for the first row but then they then they became 108 crochets per row and that was three feet wide but that doesn't work when you're doing a waffle stitch blanket uh, even if you're using the same hook because it kind of condenses a little bit a, a lot of bit so whereas you need uh, 36 double crochets per foot with a five millimeter crochet hook um, and that's just if you're doing double crochets nothing special fancy to them when you're doing a waffle stitch blanket you need closer to I think it was 45 um, stitches just to get that same foot so you see there's a, a big difference because it does kind of squish in um, but what I do when I'm working on it okay so like I did well you do multiples of three plus two so there's 182 double crochets on the first row um, but then what I do when I'm you know building it is every 12 inches of height I just put a stitch marker so that I don't have to keep re-measuring the whole thing I just measure from that stitch marker to the next uh, 12 inches and so right now it's about four feet wide and five feet tall um, yeah I need to put some more height on it but I think Linda's kind of small why does my camera keep going in and out of focus let me just push it back a little bit okay maybe that will help um, anyhow so uh, I'm working on this blanket I didn't talk about it in my other videos you guys are thinking I'm not crocheting but yeah this is a this is a big hefty hefty project um, that I just couldn't talk about but I think she's got it now so I can just talk about the um, I'll just talk about the mechanics of it so uh, this is where I left off I have to work on it some and wouldn't you know now I have yarn up on my table here all the time and it's always kind of dangerous because why is my camera going in and out anyways it's always a little bit dangerous because there's a chance one of the cats will puke on the yarn and sure enough I got a little puke on the yarn the other day thankfully not a whole lot I can still use it inside and then when I get to the outside part I'll just chuck that but uh, of course they puked on the white but at least they didn't puke on this blanket and uh, when I get finished with it hopefully well within a couple weeks uh, there's just no way that I was going to be able to finish it by Christmas so um, well I guess I could have but I just had a lot of stresses and things uh, so I will finish it for the new year and then ship it off to her and um, by the time this airs by the time this airs she will have received it Okay, so I guess that's about it for right now, and um, I will talk to you all later. Have a great weekend. I don't know why they're chirping so much. Okay. <laughs>